Torino Edition GR86 and the subwoofer. That's great. Ew, gross. I don't like these, but I got something that can fix that. New sweet taillights that don't suck by VLAND. And we're going to get started by popping this thing off. Just comes right off. Taking out these three screws, I recommend doing it with a 10 millimeter socket. Once those three screws are out, you just grab this bad boy and pull it. Pull it straight out. It's going to be scary, especially if it's been sitting on there for a while. So you need to use both hands. So uh, I'll show you after I pull it out because I'm, you know, here by myself. So one moment. Okay. So if it's brand new, it's not as scary. This one actually just came right out. And you're going to have to disconnect this little wire harness right there. Uh, use a little pick on the underside there, and it'll make it a little easier. Once you've got it off, you're going to need to take this little top clip off with two little safety heads right there. So, we'll get to that in just a second, but first, make sure you protect the lens because they scrape way too easily. Using a jacket here, and this little guy. Yeah, it's a little rusty. Uh, I believe it's a T20. T20 with a little hole in the middle. We're just going to take those off. Take the plastic off your new lens, put it on your old lens, and put it back in the box. That way, if you ever need to swap it back out, it won't be scratched. Your new light on your safe little soft area. And you're going to need to put this back on. Note that if you use the stock screws, you're going to have to modify the holes with some hot glue or something because the screws are too small for the VLAND head, uh, tail lights so you know VLAND if you're watching this step your game up also before wiring for US market you're gonna have to swap uh, I believe it's the yellow and the green wires otherwise these will not work properly so make sure you do that all right, I'm gonna put this on and be right back. All right, beautiful. Up to you if you wanna leave the QR sticker on. I did because I'm uh, pretty lazy. So let's go get these ready to go in. First thing to do is to clean this area out. There's schmoo that you'll never get to without the lights out. And no reason to let the schmoo, schmegma, whatever you wanna call it, sit in there and fester. Nobody likes, nobody likes dirt, you know? It's no fun. They say a little dirt never hurt, but you know, when you wash it and you get streaks coming down, even though it looks clean, this is why you're getting those streaks. So once this is all cleaned, we're gonna take our VLAN light we're gonna plug it in. Make sure you get it the right orientation. And that's satisfying snap. Next thing you wanna do is look on these little jumpers. If you leave these on, it'll work like a stock tail light. One of these, I think it's this one, is the wake up animation. And then this one is the sequential turn signals. I think this is to add into a uh, you know, aftermarket brake light, reverse light, whatever, but just leave that one and take those two off. And then you're good to put it back together. One little note is I would say get all three just snugged up with a screwdriver and then torque them to a few foot pounds with your uh, handy dandy little uh, 10 millimeter socket. Now just clip this bad boy back on. You are good to go. Now, ain't that nice. 
hit the hazards. Now hold on for this. Aw yeah. I apologize for the whining noise at the end. Thanks for watching.